Hidden deep in Siberia lies a lake so ancient, so deep, and so ecologically unique, it's known as the Galapagos of Russia. Welcome to Lake Baikal, the oldest, deepest, and one of the most spectacular freshwater lakes on Earth. In this journey, we'll uncover how geography shaped this incredible natural wonder and explore the mysterious ecology thriving beneath its crystal clear waters. And as always, this is Ali, and welcome back to Urban Atlas. Lake Baikal is located in southern Siberia, Russia, near the Mongolian border. At approximately 25 million years old, Baikal is the oldest lake in the world, formed through tectonic forces when Earth's crust began slowly pulling apart, creating a rift valley. And thus, the lake sits atop the Baikal Rift Zone, an active continental rift that's continuously widening. As these tectonic plates move apart, the valley sinks, continuously increasing the lake's depth and dimensions. This geological activity is ongoing, meaning Lake Baikal is still evolving today. And because the Baikal Rift Zone remains geologically active, this region is prone to earthquakes. And these earthquakes can sometimes reach magnitudes of over 7.0 and thus they play a critical role in shaping Baikal's geography. You see, each seismic event can deepen the basin, it can reshape the shoreline and alter underwater landscapes. This constant geological movement ensures Baikal's landscape is never static, making it a dynamic natural laboratory for geologists worldwide. And this lake is colossal, stretching over 636 kilometers in length, roughly the distance from New York City to Pittsburgh and averaging about 50 kilometers wide. Its deepest point is a staggering 1,642 meters deep, making Baikal the world's deepest freshwater lake. Astonishingly, Baikal holds up to 20% of the world's unfrozen surface freshwater, more than all of the North American Great Lakes combined. And in my opinion, the most fascinating fact about Lake Baikal is that the lake bed itself is positioned approximately 1,000 186 meters below sea level, making Baikal's basin the deepest continental depression on our planet. It's nestled between the rugged mountain ranges of the Baikal and the Barguzin Mountains, creating a striking natural amphitheater. Geographically, it's located close to the Mongolian border and covers an area of 31,000 square kilometers, which is significantly smaller than Lake Superior, which has a surface area of 82,000 square kilometers. But because Lake Baikal is so deep, it carries much more water than Lake Superior, approximately 23,600 cubic kilometers of fresh water. Below its clear waters, Baikal's geography is equally fascinating. Its lake bed isn't simply a deep basin. It's a world of underwater mountains, valleys, canyons, and sediment-rich plains. The deepest trench of the lake floor is the central basin, which is flanked by two massive underwater ridges dividing the lake into three distinct basins, the southern, the central, and the northern. This complex underwater landscape has been sculpted by geological processes such as sedimentation, tectonic movement, and the ancient glaciers of past ice ages. Likewise, the shoreline of Baikal is equally intriguing. Rugged cliffs, pebble-covered beaches, and sandy bays characterize the coastline. Along the eastern shore, mountains plunge dramatically into the lake, creating steep underwater drop-offs while the western shores gently slope downward, forming extensive shallow areas ideal for wildlife habitats. Rivers like the Salenga and the Barguzin, which feed Baikal, carve their own unique geographical features into the surrounding landscape, constantly reshaping the region through erosion and sediment deposits. Baikal's extraordinary geography not only makes it a wonder to behold, but it also sets the stage for its unparalleled ecology, its age, depth and isolation have created conditions perfect for evolution to unfold uniquely, resulting in ecosystems found nowhere else on Earth, making Lake Baikal one of the most fascinating biological hotspots in the world. You see, Baikal is home to over 1,700 recorded species, 80% of which are found nowhere else on Earth. And thus, Baikal's ecology rivals ocean ecosystems in its complexity and uniqueness. Perhaps the most intriguing resident is the Baikal seal, the world's only exclusively freshwater seal. These seals, numbering around 80,000, have adapted remarkably to life in freshwater, developing unique behaviors and physiology suited 
from Baikal's isolated environment. And in Baikal's pristine waters thrives the microscopic Episcura shrimp, which acts as a natural filter, maintaining the lake's astonishing clarity. Additionally, hundreds of fish species such as the endemic Baikal omol, a species of whitefish, populate the lake, crucial both ecologically and culturally. And like I mentioned previously, scientists often call Baikal Russia's Galapagos due to its evolutionary significance. And you see, species here exhibit unusual evolutionary traits, from unique fish adaptations in deep water species to a rare freshwater sponge, and crustaceans thriving hundreds of meters below the surface, each telling a story of evolutionary adaptations. Now, Lake Baikal's geography profoundly influences its climate. You see, Siberian winters here are severe, with temperatures plunging regularly below negative 20 degrees Celsius, freezing the lake surface from January through April. And the ice of Baikal is legendary for its clarity, forming thick layers up to 2 meters deep. And because of its purity, the frozen lake appears glass-like, allowing visitors to see meters beneath their feet. Unique ice formations, including spectacular pressure ridges and ice hummocks, form as the ice expands and contracts, creating surreal winter landscapes. In contrast, summers are short but surprisingly warm, with temperatures often climbing above 30 degrees Celsius. This dramatic seasonal shift fuels dynamic ecological changes, bringing rich biodiversity to life and influencing fish spawning, bird migrations, and plant growth. Despite its remote beauty, Lake Baikal faces serious ecological threats, posing challenges for conservationists, local communities, and the global scientific community. Industrial development along the Selenga River, the lake's largest tributary, has introduced pollutants threatening water quality. Additionally, tourism, while beneficial economically, increases pressures on sensitive ecosystems through pollution, waste, and habitat disturbances. Moreover, climate change poses perhaps the greatest long-term threat. Scientists have observed Baikal's ice cover duration decreasing, disrupting the ecological balance, particularly affecting species that depend heavily on stable ice cycles, like the Baikal seal, which relies on ice to birth and rear their pups. And non-native species accidentally introduced through increased human activity also threaten native biodiversity, potentially destabilizing delicate ecosystems built over millions of years. Thankfully, conservation initiatives are expanding. UNESCO declared the lake a World Heritage Site in 1996, heightening international attention and prompting stricter environmental protection. Beyond its ecological wonders, Lake Baikal is central to Siberian culture and human geography. The indigenous Buryat people, who have been inhabiting the lake region for centuries, regard Baikal as a sacred place, intertwined deeply with their spirituality, culture, and traditions and local towns such as Irkutsk rely heavily on the lake economically, with fishing, tourism, and scientific research shaping their community life. Throughout Russian history, Baikal's challenging geography influenced transportation routes, settlement patterns, and economic development. The legendary Trans-Siberian Railway famously skirts its shores, connecting remote Siberia to the rest of Russia and the world. And thus, Lake Baikal is more than just Siberia's oldest and deepest lake. It's a living testament to Earth's geological power, ecological richness, and cultural diversity. A true natural wonder deserving of our respect, protection, and awe. And as always, if you like content like this, remember to subscribe to my channel. The majority of my viewers are still unsubscribed. So guys, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that like button as well. And let me know in the comments below if any of you have been lucky enough to visit Lake Baikal in person. Or let me know what you'd like to see next. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.